Hey guys, it's Neo here, and for those of you Tekkit fans, you've probably been playing Tekkit, and you've probably seen the newest mod pack release, Tekkit Lite in Vaults. And Tekkit Lite is the 1.4.6 version of your of Tekkit, and then we have Vaults, which is a completely different mod pack and a complete different thing. So. I'm, and I bet you've like seen the newest assembly line and you've been like, conveyor belt, I want one. How do I use it? I can't find a single tutorial on YouTube or the interweb. Well, I'm here to solve this problem for you today. We will head right inside this door where I have my assistant here, all battle star, to tell me how to do things. So, how do I use this and can I get started? Rightio, pass the sword here then. Right, okay, so, uh, so now if we chuck this on there, there, like that carries it up, puts it in there, and if we open the chest, it's put the diamond sword in the chest! And, uh, ooh, so can, can I go in here? So this is the power system he's got. So if you right click in here, we've got an infinite battery and you can only get this in the creative menu. And I'll show you where to get all these stuff in a second. So uh, if I break up here, this is his solar generators and these are producing killer jewels of sun and stuff. And I'll just set it to noon again, because it's getting dark. And can I turn down my render distance? Sorry about this. And uh, put that on balanced, balanced works nicely. That's it. And I am going to show you now how to make all of this and how to get it working. So the first things you'll need is your items. So you'll need some sort of power source, I use the battery blocks. You can find this on the creative inventory by clicking on the arrow and clicking on universal electricity. If you click on the battery box, here it is, right here in my hand. And then we want to get a wrench as well, and that's it and you also that's that's it for now from what we want from here the next place we're going to go is electric expansion and we're going to get that and we're going to get insulated copper wire and we are also going to then from here i think infinite battery that's it now we go to the assembly line we're going to need a conveyor belt a manipulator i won't go over the recipes because you can just press r on them to find them out and if we go back to here and you want a chest and a building material, not cobblestone monster egg. I'll just use cobblestone for now. Okay, so these are all the items you need to get started. It's quite simple, really. So first, find the location of your box. So I wanna place it here, and I'll go over the basics. This is the input, the red bit, and this is the output. So if you wanted to get solar generator, like from here, you'll send that to the red, the output, and then the input, uh, the input sorry and then the output is sending the power to the conveyor belts so if i go over to here and i can right click it with a wrench oh, hold on there we're not ready <laughs> so i can right click it with a wrench and i can switch the modes around and where they are so we don't want any input at the moment we're just going to use an infinite battery so once we've done this we can right click and at the bottom it's like the same kind of things with like the MFE and stuff from Tekkit. This will charge the battery, this will power, put power in, this will put take power out and put it in the item. So we'll use an infinite battery because they charge it pretty quickly and pretty nicely as well. Now we're going to hide the wiring like we did in there, we'll hide it as much as possible. So we're going to have it linking to our wall right here and we're going to dig under our wall. So. Um, I don't really need to go over this, how you dig under your wall, because that's like the most basic thing in Minecraft. So we can dig around a bit to about there, and then we can dig up and place it along here. And I'll just go over the, over the mechanics quickly. So here's our copper wire. So if you place it to the side, it will never work no matter which direction. doesn't matter which direction it's facing, it will never connect. You have to place it on top like that, and it will connect. That's the only way possible. I don't think, no, you can't put it under. And it doesn't operate like half slabs either. You can't like, place it on the top half or bottom half. So lifted, this lifted bit up here is how we're going to power our special conveyor belt. So if we start placing them down, oh, it's already chucking me forward. Uh, the best sign is that the, the conveyor belt should start being powered. And uh, if you place it just down, that won't work. Chuck it here. 
it will just do nothing. So we can put a manipulator and this will uh, use like certain outputs and everything like that. So now if you just place it there, that means that it's sending the item that way. We can put a chest here and then if you just chuck an item in, voila, it goes into the chest. That uh, is pretty simple on how you do it, but if you want to raise it, then you have to go through a few extra steps. So if you right click, you change the direction in which it goes. If you shift right click, it will face upwards or it will face that way, that way or that way. We want it to face that way and go upwards. So then we need to place, uh, we don't actually need to place another copper wire, which is quite nice. But you'll need to place like a conveyor belt there. And that will be powered as well, which is really nice. And then if we place a convey a manipulator, like there. Then we can just place like a chest right there, or a chest there, or wherever you really want to place it. It will work on any side. So now if we chuck an item in. Oh, oops. Bit like that. Do do do. Chucked it up down there into there. Voila! All of that is sorted. I think we can take off that bit as well, and it will still be powered. The power seems to like pass through the conveyor belt. So if I like limited it to about there, that's the work. Yeah, it seems like you only need to power the first bit of your conveyor belt, and it will power the whole strip. Well, it might not power the whole strip; it might power it to just a little bit. So. That is how you make a conveyor belt. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, subscribe, like it, just comment on whether you found it helpful or not, or ask me some extra questions. I will be sort uh, telling you on the next tutorial on how to do a sorting machine, so you can just go back from a mining trip, here you go, and then you can just walk off, and then visit it about a day later, and then you can be like, oh, it's all sorted into the correct chest. Yay. I will go over that for you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and like I said, if you really found this helpful, subscribe, like it, favourite it, comment it, and share it with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or whatever. I don't really care if you share it. <laughs> Help me out in any way possible. Thank you for watching. I will see you later. Peace.